querida mía ¿Cómo puede ser que sienta tanta alegría? Infinita tristeza, amor y pureza sigue así sin más Ay, querida mía ¿Cómo puede ser que sienta tanta alegría? Infinita tristeza, amor y pureza sigue así sin más Querer dar estar en el momento intento de saber ¿Cómo puede haber un sentimiento? For over 20 years, people like you have joined Global Exchange at the forefront of the international human rights movement to promote social, economic, and environmental justice worldwide. We make sure that people are empowered locally and connected globally to create a just, peaceful, and sustainable world. Our campaigns for economic justice, green alternatives, and peace motivate people worldwide to resist injustice, envision alternatives, and take action. In addition to our highly visible campaigns, Global Exchange is at the forefront of progressive public education, moving citizens from understanding to action via people-to-people -people ties. Our strategy is to change the world. Since our founding in 1988, Global Exchange has advanced economic justice as a human right and worked to create a democratic global economy that puts people and the environment ahead of corporate profits. For example, violent right-wing paramilitary groups have infiltrated Colombia's Congress and high government positions in recent years. Fear of further domination by institutionalized mafias runs deep. Global Exchange is joining Colombia's top election watchdog group to work against the fraud, violence, and coercion that have allowed impunity to reign as the Pentagon presence in Colombia grows and the Obama administration keeps a Bush-era free trade agreement alive. The biggest threat posed by corporations is what corporations are empowered to do legally, every day, in every community. It's based on their agenda, the agenda of people who live far, far away, a small handful of people who are making decisions on behalf of the majority of the people who live here in the community. Whether it is water withdrawal, mining, genetically modifying organisms, or polluting refineries, the corporate few wield the law against communities worldwide, endangering health, safety, and ecosystems. Global Exchange's rights-based organizing campaign challenges unjust law in order to shift the balance of power from one that protects the rights of corporations to one that protects the rights of our communities and the environment. It's not about corporations becoming a, growing a conscience. It's about corporations no longer being persons and us defining what it is that corporations can and cannot do and what they're for. In partnership with the Community Environmental Legal Defense Fund, who first pioneered this work, Global Exchange is bringing the rights-based organizing model to the bellwether state of California. Fair trade, right? Not free trade, fair trade. Fair trade ensures a fair, stable price for coffee, cocoa, and other goods. Fair trade also strictly prohibits child labor in the production process and requires sustainable agricultural techniques. Through our partnership with teachers, parents, and children, Global Exchange is putting pressure on corporations like Hershey's to go fair trade in order to build a better future for small-scale cocoa farmers and their families. We have done this through organizing creative national actions like reverse trick-or-treating, fair trade caroling, and fair trade s'mores. Fair trade is one of the best alternatives on how we can eliminate sweatshop, not only in the garment industry, not only in the jewelry industry, not only in the cocoa fields, not only in the coffee fields. Global Exchange Fair Trade stores work with producers from around the world to offer U.S. consumers fair trade products that generate income for artisans and their families in over 40 countries. It is uh, open for public accountability, sustainable environment, of course, livable wage for uh, workers or for workers who work in this fair trade cooperatives. One, two, three. Over the years, Global Exchange has become a leader in advancing human rights on the environmental agenda. 
Our climate equity campaign is taking action to educate and mobilize U.S. public opinion to ensure that an effective and equitable agreement is achieved at the U.N. Climate Conference this December in Copenhagen. In March 2009, Global Exchange brought youth from several states to PowerShift, the largest youth conference in history, culminating in the largest environmental lobbying day since the 1970s. Not only are we fighting dirty coal, but dirty oil as well. Chevron has partnered with the world's most brutal militaries to ensure that it can continue its operations. It has partnered with the Nigerian military, the Angolan military, the military of Chad, the military of Cameroon. It is the only major U.S. corporation to continue operations in Burma. Chevron is an economic behemoth. It's using its economic wealth to push for policies that are detrimental to our global climate and to communities around the world who are forced to deal with Chevron's operations. But what's also unique about Chevron is the global resistance movement of Chevron-affected communities that have linked together to push Chevron and through it the entire oil industry to be cleaner and safer and more equitable. Global Exchange, uh, through the Chevron program, is proud to be a part of this global resistance movement. Our Green Alternatives Department promotes a sustainable economic model that protects the environment, promotes prosperity, and empowers youth and low-income residents of color towards full participation in the new green economy. We're connecting with local high schools, with city colleges, and with green businesses in order to connect these communities and bring them to the center of the environmental movement. The Environmental Service Learning Initiative provides youth with education and leadership opportunities uh, through projects and events that are led by youth and for youth. They know about food justice, they know about needing a job, they can see that there's alternatives that they can touch that are easy, and it's exposing them to things, um, and I think that that will carry them for the rest of their life. Grind for the Green uses music and culture to bring youth of color from the margins of the environmental movement to its epicenter. The Green Careers Program is connecting people in traditionally underserved communities with green job opportunities in these local green businesses by providing them paid internships with our job training programs and mentorship programs. The Green Festivals are a joint project of Global Exchange and Green America. We've been going for eight years now we do these weekend green festivals bringing together hundreds of green economy companies, over a hundred speakers, organic vegetarian restaurants, a kid zone, diverse live music, a teen unity zone, to bring people together with a positive atmosphere and show them that the green economy is not something off in the future, it exists today. The success of the Green Festival shows that the American people are ready for a transition to an economy that makes its money by saving nature, not destroying nature. Do you want your tax dollars going to the war profiteers? No! Do you want to be funding endless war in Iraq and Afghanistan? No! Hell no is the right answer to that. Hell no is what we got to tell these people in Congress. Hell no is what we've got to tell the peace candidate that we voted into the White House. With your support, the Global Exchange Peace Campaign turns public opinion towards peace and keeps peace in the headlines. In 2002, Global Exchange co-founder Medea Benjamin co-launched Code Pink to fight the direction of U.S. foreign and domestic policy. Code Pink continues to draw international attention to the need to end the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan and redirect our resources into life-affirming activities like healthcare, education, and green jobs. Now the pink ladies back there, respond properly or please exit the room. Signs down! Global Exchange Reality Tours link travelers like you with activists and organizations in over 30 countries. Hello.
Tour delegates learn about global issues and witness the impact of U.S. foreign policy on communities around the world. And through emergency delegations, we were able to bring the need for immediate action to the attention of the international community. For example, in response to the June 28th military coup d'etat in Honduras, Global Exchange sent an emergency delegation and we met with Honduran community leaders as well as human rights organizations to put pressure on the international community to denounce the coup and to support the return of democratically elected President Manuel Zelaya. And in early June, Global Exchange and Code Pink sponsored two Gaza children's delegations, delivering toys, school supplies, and materials to build three playgrounds to the children of Gaza. At Global Exchange, we take a holistic approach to change. All of our programs, from reality tours, to fair trade stores, to our various activist campaigns, focus on international collaboration as the central component. Our peace, environmental justice, and green alternatives campaigns are designed to embrace the diversity of our communities. Our objective is to transform the global economy from a profit-centered economy to a people-centered economy, and to shift the world's core value from currency to community. But we can't do it without you. Thank you for helping us to promote social, economic, and environmental justice worldwide. Cause the climate is changing, carbon monoxide been raising in Paris in the summer. It's been raining and I'm spitting truth like I'm word slang and slang in American cars, lowest miles per gallon. They mad cause my words cut sharp like a talent. Very little alternative transportation cause gas companies gotta keep cash rotation. Boiling like a pot is getting hot. Guess what? You ain't breathing fog. Air quality's went from poor to poorer. We not using them tools like an apple.